When Dumbala appears in your life, he usually comes with an offer. You can have life or you can have death. Dumbala gave man wisdom, a wisdom of healing. In this choice that we're given, we can take life or we can take death. We can take the medicine which is going to give us life or we can turn our heads away and go the opposite direction and what we have awaiting for us is the grave. A lot of people are unaware of how important it is to take care of their health. Your health brings you to a crossroad. If you don't take care of yourself, you're either going to get sick or you're going to end in the grave. Some people, their arteries are so clogged up that when they try to address the problem, it becomes too late. There's some people that have haven't had a cleanse since they were born. They're living with toxins all in their body. Mucus, compact mucus, mucus, excessive mucus in their lungs, excessive mucus in different parts of their body. And I say excessive because many people think mucus is a bad thing, but mucus is actually a good thing that the body needs in order for it to function. But when we move away from balance, that's when we have problems. So when we're talk when I speak of mucus, I bring this to say that the body has to be in balance. Anything in excess will tip the scale and send the body in one direction. Wherever health and well-being is present, this is where you will find Dambala. The greatest medicine is prevention. I want to bring up the scripture of Leviticus. See, I'm not going to give you book, chapter, and verse, but I will say, and I would recommend that a lot of people read the book of Leviticus. Because in Leviticus, they, they, the Bible talks about unclean and clean foods as well as actions. And some of these things, we could say it could be religious to some people, but a lot of it deals with being healthy and having a clean environment. A lot of these rules and regulations which were laid down for the children of Israel are things that we can utilize to better ourselves today. It talks about bad energy being present. When certain things are negative in their left places, it can become it can be become contagious. Where man falls is his lack of ignorance or his foolishness because we know some things are bad for us but we continue to indulge in them. And sometimes our ignorance brings our downfall because if many knew the reaction of the foods we eat, what it could do to us in the long run, white flour, sugar, a lot of these things that we do in excess, if we knew the long term, if we knew or understood the long term effects, or if we were, rather I say, if we were able to move into the future and see the outcome of our actions, we would not partake in those things that are self destructive. They say cleanliness is next to godliness. 
but many people choose to indulge in filth. There are certain illnesses that are here because man chooses to be filthy. Humans choose to be filthy. Anytime when we deviate from the path which God has laid down or from the wisdom of the elders, we run into hardship and difficulty. There's certain things we're not supposed to eat. There's certain things, you know, there's certain places we're not supposed to put ourselves. So with that said, I conclude this video.